Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy Intervention Group. Hopefully you guys are getting the hang of the um, phrased readings. You sound great when you're at school. So this is uh, a continuation of the Henry and Mudge book where I took this from. So, A Sweetheart Dance. On this Valentine's Day, Henry's father and Henry's mother were going to a sweetheart dance. Henry and Mudge would be staying with Mrs. Hopper. Mrs. Hopper lived across the street in a big stone house with droopy trees and dark windows and a gargoyle on the door. Henry liked Mrs. Hopper, but he did not like her house. Then we are going to read Canstruction Creations. Now, the last book uh, we read about Remya Jose, her invention won a competition or a contest. So today you're going to read another nonfiction book about a contest. So it's called Canstruction Creations. So people build these structures, these designs, out of all kinds of cans. So the book is the first in the Making uh, Difference series. So each of the book tells about someone or something that taught people something and help them in some way. So you can see the logo on the front. Now, it just so happens that uh, they're building out of cans of food. So we're gonna take a look at the table of contents, which you should always do in a nonfiction book. And today too, really make sure that you're taking time to read slowly and carefully, but also looking at all of the uh, pictures that are in here because those are important. So table of contents, a contest to help people, picking an idea, making a plan, getting the cans, ready, set, build, and the winners are feeding hungry families, everyone wins. So this is a contest that's fun, but it also helps people. So think about that while you're reading. So when we look at page two, Take a look at that picture. So with this, make sure you always read the headings, a contest to help people. You always look at the pictures, which is like a dinosaur, pretty cool. And then you always read the caption that goes with the picture. The cans of food will be donated to feed hungry people. So each of these structures, each of these creations uses thousands of cans of food. The food actually is donated then to hungry families. So this is uh, how it's related to that theme of making a difference. So with this um, picture, the dinosaur is an example of a, a structure that's made entirely out of cans of food. So it looks like, um, it looks ready to swallow its dinner, doesn't it? So people build the structures and they try to win these contests called construction. So it's construction, but because they're doing it out of cans, they kind of played with the word a little bit. So when we're looking at page four, can you guys tell what that is? So teams build these structures. So they have to decide what to build and then they make a plan. So the plan is really a drawing. Then they think about the colors that they need and the shapes of the cans. So in order for you to get the correct look, you have to find the right color. Kind of fun. So when you take a look at all of these designs, pretty impressive. So I'm just going to skip to page 15. I like that one quite a bit. It's a globe. So this page explains that after the contest, the structures are taken apart by volunteers. So volunteers are people who donate their time. They bag them up and then they get that food to families. So families can eat it. So kind of fun. It's an interesting contest and um, you know it does good for people, of course. So as you read, remember that the real goal of the contest is to help feed hungry families. So people have the contests in big spaces, usually at places like shopping malls. So after a few days, you know, after people look at them, um, the volunteers take the structures apart and they bag up the food and they get it to hungry families. So we'll talk more about how the, how the fun contest helps millions of people tomorrow. All right, enjoy reading. Um, when you're done reading, remember to do the quiz today. And then there's also 
a video. So do that last. All right. Happy reading.